In this learning video, we're going to show you how to create powerful dashboards that when you filter one item, when you click on it, it actually filters all the other um, screens on here, all the other charts that are on the dashboard by doing one. So let's start with understanding how to do this. It's a pretty powerful feature, really, because we want to filter across dashboard chart elements. It's important that we do a few things. First, the way to really make it work is to prep your data always about the data. In this case, it's chart data. And what I mean by that is we gotta make sure that the charts that you wanna filter make sense. So if I click on California, I should get only the contributing pollutants to California. Right now, I have the entire United States here. So you look at my data, overall US for 2019, I have all the data here for the United States. This is interesting. But I don't know everything on this one. I have colors I can hover over and I can put details in for sure. Um, but if you go to contributing pollutants, this is also a big summary for the US and it's just sums all the pollutants for the US. So it's kind of helpful so if you think about it, you design it and you'd be thoughtful about this, rather than just doing it mechanically, make sure you design across worksheets, right? That way you can have, when you apply a filter to one, it goes across the others. Okay, so that's step one, was the data prep. Make sure you prep it properly. Then you load up the charts. Once you prep it, you think about which charts does it make sense to filter, which charts does it not make sense to filter? Some charts just don't line up with that. And then this actual action of doing this is not all that complicated. We apply the filter. Now I'll show you how to, to apply the filter and to deselect the filter, like how do I get back? Um, so like right now, you see I click on California, and well, it's just California. I can click on it and I can keep only, I can exclude it and those kind of things. Alaska, but nothing's really happening here, right? It's just two charts. I just put these charts together and it's interesting, but not great. Maybe I make it bigger. It depends what you want to do with the graph. But see, this is the power of Tableau. You hover over and build in data links. You can put chart and chart objects and it, it filters. So what we do is we go over here, use as filter. I know, that was the magic. Now, when I click it, look at that. I can see the contributing pollutants to California, well, by and large, are wildfires. Um, here, the name didn't come out well. Miscellaneous, but that's a strange. Highway vehicle and petroleum. Of course, Texas is a big gas state. Florida, highway vehicles, and there's no real public transportation there. Speak of some, but not a lot. Very limited. We live there, so it's hard. Pick a place like Montana. Wildfires, yes, big open area. Washington, of course. You have all the big, big trees in Washington. Same kind of thing over there in, in Oregon. So if you see, we're going through, and we're just having a lot of fun clicking each one and watching the contributed pollutants pop up. This is actually interesting because we're actually learning analysis in a different way. Prescribed fires, Missouri. So when we do this, what do you think, what, what, what do you think Alaska is? We go to Alaska, boom. Alaska is wildfires, okay, it's big, big wilderness type area. Then let's see Hawaii here. Highway vehicles, okay, then again, another state with great tourist state, but no public transportation to speak of. Um, it makes a lot of sense. So deselect, you notice how I deselect? I click, click onto an object, clicked off the object, I clicked in the white space on the chart on an object. No, couldn't do it, right? On object, right click, select all. There's things you could do here to make it interesting. But you see that this is a very powerful feature when you click on one state and you can see the other one, Oklahoma, prescribed fires, Kansas, prescribed fires. Everybody always picks on New York, but actually they're not so bad. Highway vehicles and off way, they have a public transportation system, but yet their vehicles are all over the place. And so even with the transportation system, they still have a lot of it. And off highway, that's because New York is a big state, so they have a lot of off highways. That it's not just New York City. Click on my space, and you're deselected. So I hope that this helps just simplify or demystify how to use a filter across different charts on a dashboard. We'll explore this filtering notion a bit more and more in the learning videos, but it's not too complicated. It's just really important to be able to provide useful information that you can drill into and see insights. It requires thought process 
then you design these dashboards and you're not just, just mechanically placing them onto the sheets and things that don't make sense. And you hit the filter and you can deselect it as well, but you went from being a not so smart chart to a smart chart. So I hope this helps and um, come back for another learning video if we'll do more filtering in a workbook to make things more analytical. Thank you.